What's up, YouTubers? This is your girl, Nick, coming to you to give you an update on what's going on with my Vyvanse and my binge eating order disorder. I can talk this morning. And what's just going on in my life. So it's a snowy day. We're having yet another nor'easter in the northeast or mid-Atlantic area. Um, and I'm just chilling in the house today. So, with the Vivance, I've been on Vivance for 12 weeks now. I'm still doing pretty well with it, not having any ill side effects, uh, just the dry mouth that's been going on, no problems with sleep. Um, I did have some insomnia the first 24 hours of being on it, but that resolved after the 24 hours. Uh, I get up a little bit early just to take it in the morning, and then I go back to sleep. Um, so, you know, and no palpitations. So pretty much tolerating it pretty well. Um, from last week to this week, uh, I know I was talking about, I was slowing down on my weight loss, hadn't lost anything in like two weeks. Um, I did lose two pounds from last week. So I guess that's a yay. But, um, what I'm finding is I think it's not a conscious thing. I think it's a subconscious thing, but, I am noticing lately I have been restricting what I eat um, versus binging so much. Um, I had a, like a mini binge last week uh, where I was able to stop myself before it became a full binge. But I guess because I've been frustrated with my weight loss, um, I've started restricting my calories. So instead of being on the 1200 calorie diet, um, I will be anywhere from... If I round up anywhere between 700 and 900 calories a day, um, and I'm not hungry, um, I think a lot of that is the vivance on why I'm not hungry, but you know, this is a bad pattern that I've noticed I've gotten into and it's not something I want to continue, but you know, I'm noticing having this internal battle with myself, if I want to lose weight, but if the scale's not going anywhere, then I restrict and I'm just really worried that this is going to become a slippery slope that restricting is going to be my norm, um, that I'll progress into binging because I do after I, I mean, not binging, sorry, purging. Um, I've noticed after I do binge, I have some pretty strong thoughts about purging. Um, I have not purged yet. I am not a purger. Um, I have a, a strong aversion to vomiting just even when I'm sick. So I don't, hopefully, I don't think I'll ever start purging, but I mean, those thoughts are pretty strong sometimes on how bad I want to purge after a binge. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. I did talk to my therapist this week, um, as usual, I see her every week, but I did let her know about the restricting um, and she seemed concerned about it as well. So I'm pretty sure she's going to bring it up next week when I see her because I kind of snuck it in at the end of my session. Um, with like two minutes to spare, I was like, oh, and by the way, I've been restricting. Um, so I'm sure she's going to bring it up next time. Um, I do feel that it's a safe space to talk to her about it. So, you know, I don't feel like there's any judgment or anything there. I feel bad about restricting just as bad as I do about purging, I mean, excuse me, about binging. So I don't know what's going on there. I made myself eat more yesterday, um, which wasn't that hard because I'm TMI, but I'm on my cycle and that, that's always a trigger for me for overeating or binging anyway. So um, yesterday I was fine on my calorie count. I was where I needed it to be. But um, yeah, I'm starting to get a little concerned that I'm restricting. Um, and I, from what I understand, you know, I'm on one of the Facebook groups for um, eating disorders and, you know, I see that people talk about going merging from one eating disorder to another to another through their, their recovery and their process. Um, so I'm not sure if that's what's happening, that I'm, you know, I'm starting to develop other characteristics of other eating disorders or what, but I am concerned about it. So I'm going to try to keep an eye on it, but that's what's been going on. I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.